atoms with the same number of protons in their nucleus, but different numbers of neutrons, are said to be different isotopes of the same element. Some of these isotopes, called radioisotopes, have nuclei that are unstable. They can undergo a process of radioactive decay, where they break down into different atoms, at the same time releasing radiation. Three of the types of radiation that can be emitted are alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Alpha radiation, or alpha particles, are the nuclei of helium atoms. Beta radiation, or beta particles, are high energy electrons. And gamma radiation is a form of energy akin to light, only of much higher energy and frequency than light in the visible spectrum. To understand why some isotopes are radioactive, you need to consider the role that neutrons play in stabilizing the nucleus of an atom. Most nuclei have more than one proton crammed into a very small space. The problem with this is that each of these protons has a positive charge. The way that the forces governing charged particles work is that opposite charges attract but like charges repel each other. So the protons in the nucleus experience strong electrostatic forces of repulsion, trying to push them apart. What holds the nucleus together then? Protons and neutrons are subatomic particles known as nucleons. When nucleons are very close to one another, basically touching, they experience an attractive force called the strong nuclear force that acts as a kind of sticky nuclear glue holding the nucleons together. Neutrons have no charge, so by adding some of them to a nucleus containing protons, they contribute the sticky nuclear glue to bind adjacent nucleons together in the nucleus without contributing to the electrostatic forces of repulsion pushing the protons apart. Or to put it differently, they allow the strong nuclear forces of attraction between nucleons that are in close proximity to win out over the electrostatic forces of repulsion between positively charged protons in the nucleus. Isotopes with too few neutrons have nuclei that are unstable because they lack the sticky nuclear glue necessary to counteract the repulsive electrostatic forces between the positively charged protons. These nuclei will tend to break down. Isotopes with too many neutrons are also unstable because any neutrons that are in excess of what is required to stick the nucleus together can themselves break down, changing into protons and at the same time emitting radiation. What's the right number of neutrons required to make the nucleus of an atom stable? Many stable isotopes have about the same number of neutrons as protons. However, for large nuclei containing many protons, you need more neutrons than there are protons to maintain stability. This is because the repulsive forces between protons can make themselves felt throughout the nucleus, whereas the sticky nuclear glue only operates at very small distances. Nuclei with more than about 83 protons become increasingly unstable, no matter how many extra neutrons are added to the nucleus as the repulsive forces between protons win out over the sticky nuclear glue provided by all of the nucleons, resulting in a tendency for atoms with very large nuclei to undergo radioactive decay.